Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I am Becky. Today, I was playing with the stamp of the month. So I made these two cards and I think this one is the one I prefer. So we're gonna go ahead and recreate this. Now let me tell you how this came about. You can see this is, I cut the corner off of here. I had some cards, actually they're stored in this bag. You can see I used them all. But the corners were bent on them. So I went ahead and <laughs> cut them off. So that's how we came across this design. I like this one quite a bit better than I like this one. This one I did some um, water coloring right here. This one I did um, some sponging with just a tiny piece of sponge. Um, you, I could go in and dazzle this up a little bit with gems or sequins this I did use the melon ink which is the color of the year so I have plenty of melon bits I can also add to this I just I don't know I didn't want to um yeah let's go ahead and recreate this what we're gonna start by doing is on our blank card base we're gonna measure up two and a half and mark it and measure across two and a half and then mark it I'm gonna be using the the this stock from close to my heart it's the value pack it's five and a half by four and a quarter card stock or card bases so okay so we're gonna start by marking two and a half I'm gonna use you need a measuring tool I'm just gonna be using this paper right here so I'm gonna go two and a half up it's right about here two and a half over is gonna be right about here doesn't have to be exact. I'm just gonna take this little trimmer right here and I'm just gonna try to line up those little marks best I can. Again, doesn't have to be exact. And I'm just gonna go bloop and trim that off. Okay, next. I am going to be finding the center, which this is, what did I say, five and a quarter? Why am I having a hard time with that? Five and a half. So it's going to be two and a half in is going to be my center spot. Now you can see on this, okay, on this one, this is not the one we're making, but I just stamped and colored and cut out the B. This one, I stamped the B directly onto the card. And then I stamped it again and colored the flowers and I fussy cut those out and just layered them on top. Can you see that right there? So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna stamp the bead directly onto the card and then we're gonna stamp it again on a piece of white cardstock. So when we stamp it on the card, we're really, we're not concerned about the, the wings, right? We just want the body to be there. I'm sorry, my desk is a mess because I've been playing with this stuff. And then I couldn't wait to come show you my card because I hardly ever make cards, right? I made this card. It's completely awesome. And I wanted to share. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to get him all inked up. I don't need all this stuff coming off the side. And, you know, you guys don't need... Ooh, I didn't stamp super duper well. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take, I got a black marker right here. It's true black, I think, right? Yeah, true black from the Spectrum Noir. I'm going to just color this in a little bit because I don't like that. Okay, next you're going to pull out a watercolor pencil in yellow. I am using this set right here. I'm just going to go ahead and get this pretty pretty wet. Um, I want, I don't want this to be super watercolory, so I'm gonna go like this and I'm just gonna keep doing like this until it's like not super duper saturated. I want it to be kind of thick. So on my base of my B, I'm gonna come in from this side and come inwards. That's not very thick. This one ended up being very light. It's okay. And then I'm gonna get some more ink or some more paint. This one looks thick. That dipping looks thick, thicker than the first dipping. And I'm gonna come in from the other end, that to make a meet in the middle. I'll do the same thing on the next one. I'm gonna come in from this side. 
turn this around, I'm going to come in from the other side. And then there's just a little bit we got to take care of right here. I'm going to put this aside to dry. Get out a piece of white cardstock. Then we got to get out our stamp. Now, on this one, it's going to be the opposite because before we were just concerned about the body. This time, we're concerned about the span of the wings. So I want to make sure I get good coverage on that, unlike I did on the body, right? So I'm going to have to pay closer attention than I did. <laughs> first time around. Um, it looks good. Okay. I'm just going to stamp it down. When I was playing with these earlier, guys, a few things. Um, I did, I printed out or stamped out one of these um, honey comb things too, or honey hives, beehives, honey hives. <laughs> and I did the eye things in the middle of the black like the artist did in the book. I thought that was so cool. Um, on mine, I used um, some these liquid pearls. And then to get this flat, because I watercolored on it, I just ran it through my die cutting machine with just the plates and some papers and just flattened it out. Alright. So for the flowers, like I said, I, I used melon, which is our color of the year, and I'm going to use melon again. I just used this little piece of a sponge. So we have these sponges, and... I like to cut mine apart to get small pieces. Well, here's a piece. They're round sponges. This is like an eighth of a sponge. And I just took a little chunk out of it right there. Now, you can hold it by your fingers, which is what I do a lot of the times. That's why my hands get so dirty. Or, dirty. or you can take a binder clip and kind of the binder clip will hold your sponge. So what I'm going to do is I am going to go over the flowers and first second third generation of this I'm just gonna I'm gonna bounce it here let's come over here let me show you over here I'm just you know bounce 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 like that all over where the flowers are just bouncing it along all over where these flowers are You can get it as saturated with as much color as you want, or as little as you would like to have. Okay, after I do that, I'm going to go ahead and take, I got this gel pen. It is a metallic green gel pen, like that. I'm just going to do like a little line like this. Just fill in each of these leaves best I can. Um, not being too careful about it. But I'm going to try and get all the leaves now. I will probably miss a couple, and that's no big deal. Uh, anything that I think is green, not the stems, because the stems are too thin to go over with a gel pen. It'll look silly, I think. Um, but, like, the flowers that have the green underneath right here. What is that part of the flower? I can't remember what that part's called. But, yeah, that would be green. So, any of those bits, I'm going to put the green... The, apply the green use the green gel pen for <laughs> so if you hear those dogs um, they push my door open again so I can hear them out there I think they're playing with Johnny next we're going to take our watercolor pencil again and our water brush we're gonna get it nice and you know start getting that color moving up here on the on the tip of this I want to kind of make it soft, you know? What I'm going to do is I'm taking the stylus. This is a We Remember Memory Keeper stylus. You can take whatever you have that has like a point or something on the end. I'm softening up this paint. And then I'm going to dip the ball in here. Kind of get a little bit of that on my ball. 
and put that into the centers of my flowers. Um, the reason I'm doing it this way is so they can have just a little bit of dimension maybe if I get paint off of the stick and get it to stick on here. It could have a little bit of dimension, but more importantly for me, I just wanted to have, I didn't, I wanted it to be more opaque, right? So that means more of a concentration of color, right? So that means not so watered down. So this is how I'm going about it. You can do whatever way you want on, um, when I did the, the hive, like I said, I used the liquid pearls. You could use something like this, maybe. You could do it however you want to do it. But this is just the way I chose to do it. Um, I've never showed you guys this before, so just using the tip of this and just going boop. Just trying to put it right in the center of all the flowers. Okay, now you want to let this dry and then cut it out. While that is drying, I'm gonna go ahead and stamp out my high right here. So it's gonna be in the bottom right hand corner of the inside of your card, okay? Then I'm going to stamp some honeycombs as well. Maybe there, do a second generation there, and I'll do one right here. Maybe another second generation right like that. Okay, this comes, hold it across. Go ahead and do this number. Okay, we'll go ahead and stamp a couple more of these honeycombs on the front. First generation, second generation, third generation. Okay, that should be good, right? Now we're still waiting for this to dry. I'm going to go ahead and get my watercolor pencil back out. Or, yeah, and my water brush back out. Let's go ahead and get this wet again. This time what we're going to do is we're going to just get this good and wet. Just make sure we got some liquid on here. Make sure we're picking up plenty of pigment on here. Look how that's coming down the wood. You can see. So we've got plenty of liquid and pigment. I'm going to take my brush and hold this. I'm going to just pull this toward myself kind of in a downward motion toward myself and down toward the page and get some fine splatters. That's Okay, those aren't super fine ones, but those will do. I had too much liquid on mine, but that's okay. I'll pull out my paper towels. We'll just dampen it up. Okay. So, all we have to do is fussy cut this and attach it. And then if we decide we want some kind of bling, we need to do that. Now when you're cutting it, you don't need to cut the bee out. You're just cutting all these flowers. You're just cutting the wings, right? Once you have got your wings cut out, 
It's either going to sit on here right like that. But what we're going to do is get some foam tape. Now this is going to hang over this part right here. So be mindful. See, this hangs over. So be mindful where you put your foam tape. You don't want it to be on the part that's going to touch this back piece, okay? I'm only going to use a little bit, a little bit right here. And on this, uh, on my first card I did, I used liquid adhesive and I used a little bit too much because you can see how it kind of warped down here. So on this card, I'll probably have to, well not have to, but I'll probably trim something up to go on the inside so you won't see that. That's out. Okay, I'm using liquid adhesive again. <laughs> because my tape runner's out. Nice. Nice. Okay. It's probably too much. It's going to make my paper warp. Okay, I'm going to take these off. Da. Cute. That's cute. I don't know about the splatters. I could have maybe used melon splatters. Might have been better. I don't know. What do you think? Cute, huh? Um, yeah, I think we could benefit putting something right here. Yep, this is it. Super cute. Thanks so much for joining me. If you'd like to support my channel, go to beckybidding.closetomyheart.com. The stamp I use is the stamp of the month for the month of July 2023 um, at Close to My Heart. All right, guys, thanks so much for joining me, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.